Hi there, welcome to another video of Prof. Paul B. Today we're going to be looking at the requirements for our first assignment in Enterprise Java Development, Prog 32758. And it's a relatively simple assignment, but enough to have a little bit of fun with. Um, let's, let's take a look at the functionality and then we'll look at the project structure a bit. And it's very simple, a very simple uh, page with a link, an href. And let's go ahead and click that. And notice here in our URL, we have the slash form. And the question is, do you think Java is fun? Hopefully, we can all say yes. Maybe not for now. But, uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look at how this, what's going on here. So I'm going to use my favorite Looney Tunes character, Bugs, and Bugs Bunny. So let's just fill out some information. And we'll do all the combinations just to see to see what the, uh, what the result is. And if we go on Submit, we see that thanks for filling out the form bugs. Glad you're having fun. And we won't add your email to our list. So I did not check off the email. And But notice here that there are no parameters in the, uh, in the URL. So there is no query string. So that should mean something to you. Let's go ahead and click on back. And I'll click on yes, let's add to the mailing list. And what we have, we're still having fun. And we're gonna add the email to the list. Now let's go back and let's just use no. And now the only thing that changes is hope it gets better. And I really hope it does if you're not having fun. And now if we click on back, we'll notice too, if we don't have email, the email field is required field. Then the same thing as name. Okay, so. Okay, so let's take a look at the at the structure of the project. Uh, the structure is here. Oh, let me go back to the index. So here we see the structure of the project. What I want you to have is just like we've been doing in class in the past couple of uh, lessons, we have a controllers package um, in as a sub package of CA.Sheridan College. That's where your controller should be, your controller code that will handle this. Um, we notice there are two files in the templates. Notice there's nothing in the static. There are two files. There's the index.html, which you can currently see here. And there's the javafun.html. And that one is the form. Notice there's no template for the, uh, for the, the dynamic content, i.e. What, what is being returned. So when I click on submit, this is being generated dynamically. So for, for this assignment, this first assignment, what I'd like you to do is I would like you to use the HTTP servlet response to and the, the associated print writer that you can get from that to write directly to the output stream to the client. Yes, I know this is not a best practice, but I do want you to use this. Then you'll see once we start with Timeleaf, how things get uh, so much easier and so much better. So for now, it's going to be the, and here I'm using the, uh, the air quotes with my fingers, the ugly way of doing it, but, uh, but still, it's, it's not that hard. So these are the expectations. I will be posting the assignment specifications in a Word document, as well as a rubric. Check slate for that, and make sure you have all your bases covered. Okay, so I hope you have a lot of fun with this, and happy coding, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.